Okay, haven't made a video in a while, and I've had questions from a couple of you guys in my groups. Tom, how do I get results for my clients? Mr. Tom Evans has gone away and he's thought, you know what, I'm gonna make a video, two part series, which basically tells you guys how to get results for your clients. One is using content and two is directly using ads. So in this video, I'm gonna direct you guys through how to get results for your clients straight from content. I've made a new intro as well. I was like, oh, no, I'll make a flashy new intro, so I'll catch you in about five seconds. So I'm gonna try and cover this within about three minutes because I don't want to bore you to shit. Okay, so the number one rule when it comes to content and getting results using content is community. Okay, and I know that's a bit like, what, what, how, how, okay. But you know your area better than anybody else and you know the people in this area better than anybody else. So you understand what they like, what they cater to, what type of slangs they use, and this has to come through with your content. And at the end of the day, people love being part of a group. People love interacting and being like, oh, this is my little hometown. Look at my hometown doing so well on social media. You're basically sitting on a gold band of information as it is. So you need to use the people and everything that's within this business. You need to portray it, make it look flashy and really push it to the for forefront. Make it gritty and make people fall in love with your business because you're such like, oh, you're so, oh, you know, oh. And the second part comes down to a little motto that me and my business partners basically come up with. And that motto is, don't reinvent the wheel. Pretty much everything you ever need from a content standpoint is already there for you to grab. There's top class businesses in your niche. So there's a top, there's Michelin style restaurants. There's this top estate agents in the area. What you have to do is basically go to those pages, look at what they're doing and Innovate on it. Basically copy it, but don't, I won't tell anyone. Steal it. Fucking steal that shit. Use it for yourself. They're doing really good stuff. They they have teams paying them thousands of pounds to go and do this work. So you take that information, steal it, innovate upon it, and add your own little creative touch to it, okay? When you understand what works, it opens up so many doors for you, and you start becoming more creative in yourself. When you start paying attention to what really does work, okay? So when it comes down to equipment, what you need to produce this content, I would highly suggest you investing in a decent camera. The one I am currently using and I'm filming on this um, is a Canon 80D. So don't be scared to invest. If you want to take this full time and actually make a living out of this, don't be scared to pump money into this. The only way you're going to grow is through investing money in this. Okay? Okay? But... For people who don't and are a bit sort of, oh, you know, I wanna, I wanna just try it out. I don't wanna jump in too fast. Use your iPhone. But if you have an iPhone, that's above an iPhone 6S. 6S, the one is the magic number. You can shoot 4K video. 4K, and the stuff you, you the, the resolution you're watching me on now is 1080p. So this bad boy can shoot 4K video. Jeez, bro. And you can use free video makers like, I don't know, there's Movie Maker, iMovie is still free. Um, I use Canon 80D. I'm currently using a the standard lens just to film this with you guys. I got a little mic on top as well, which is okay. It costs about 20 pounds. And I use Premiere Pro to edit my videos. Okay, so on to the last points. You've learned community is absolute key, being personal, knowing your people. Then using your creative little spark by nicking other people's stuff. Okay, equipment, you know you can use your iPhones, you can use your Samsungs to create decent content. So how would you actually implement this to get good results? You've heard the statistics of post every single day. Bullshit. I really don't think you have to post every single day to grow your channels. If you're speaking on a local scale with local businesses, you should be posting, I believe, every two to three days. The, the golden rule with this is quality over quantity every single time, every single time. Don't say, oh, Ty, Ty Lopez told me to post to fucking three times a day on Instagram. It's bullshit. It's literally bullshit. Knowledge. You're not Ty Lopez. You're posting for Jim's Barbershop who lives on the road. The people who are following Jim's Barbershop don't want to see people cutting hair three times a day. It will bore them to shit and your followers will drop. And I've done this. I've actually done this myself. But it really does come down to quality over quantity. So one, know your community as audiences everything. 
Number two is be creative through sort of stealing and innovating upon other people's stuff. Number three is you just need your iPhone and your brain to actually make good content. And number four is through looking at quality over quantity. Using a common sense think, will I piss people off by posting too much? Yes, you probably will. The client's logo has been covered for confidentiality reasons. Thank you for your compliance. Okay, and to produce this picture, these objects. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next video and thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate you being here. So please comment, like, subscribe and join my Facebook group. It's in the first link. See you in the next video. Peace.